She's not gonna mind if I just read her books, right? I'm not looking to steal anything. Rune of the Bear. Interesting. Rune of the Elk. And there's the missing rune. That's curious. What's curious? A tidy slot, but no rune. What's curious, damn it? What's curious? What did you perception check? What did you perceive? Shadow Heart succeeded a perception check. Gale su succeeded a perception check. On what? Oh, I missed the Rune of the Eagle. My apologies. I don't think it's going to matter without having whatever this is. It's broken. But not too badly. But not too badly. Can I look at that? Druid note. The Emerald Enclave won't send help even if I asked. This land is wounded and the rot is deep, but it's deep everywhere. I can't wait for help to come, but perhaps I need not face the darkness alone. Don't know what that's about. So we read that. Bottled tentacles. Where is Halston's journal? There we go. Journal volume one. Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins led by a drow. We had no choice but defend ourselves. That is not the extraordinary, or rather disturbing, part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it and have the host's cadaver here in my study. I have not, I've told no one of my fears. Nanny suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Co Korga will demand answers I don't have yet. I had better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person. So if he's dead, we've got to loot his body. Our prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions, indeed. Sightings record. A long list of owlbear sightings in the region, separated by date. The latest entry, written a 10 day ago, says cub. The word is underlined at several times. Okay, interesting. What else have we got in here? Ah, oh, that's right, clicking on this won't get me any books. You should know this by now. Oh, no, I won't steal that. Okay, let's read this. Secret Societies of the Sword Coast Exposed. Harpers, the most well-known of the Sword Coast's cabals, perhaps, but certainly not benign in its shrouded doings. My sources claim that those belonging to this mysterious faction abhor power, but if that is so, why do they not expose the revelations of their inquiries for public good? Why indeed? Because knowledge is power and the Harpers intend to keep both for themselves. Shadow Druids, weigh the life of a man against that of a sapling oak. Which do you value more highly? Ask a shadow druid the same self same question and be shocked by their answer. This dangerous group utterly disregards intelligent life in favour of the life of plants and insects. The perversion of the natural order leads them to plan and execute plots so dastardly that the mere description of one would leave you glancing sideways at your begonias. <laughs> the order of Clerd. The least known and accordingly most dangerous of the secret societies I have researched is the Order of Clerd. My sources tell me the shadowy conspiracy of murderers, mutilators, and tyrants regularly meet to plan the demise of any number of innocent citizens of a fair land. What's more, they like it. Dark Justicius. I shudder even to inscribe their name upon the purity of this page. I shall leave it at this. They worship Shah. I don't know who that is, so I can't share your abhorrence. That's all connected. Ha ha ha! I don't think I can actually utilize that. Any more books just lying around? The fourth and final novel. This book has had almost every single page ripped out except for the last 20 or so pages. Why? Shadow's Kiss is written in bold on the front. Pages of crossed out lines have notes in the margin reading, finale, more exciting, the final intro reads. Get out of here, Roe whispers, clutching his side. Blood pours from his fingers, a final gift from Catherick's blade. I'm not leaving you, Celine sobs, blue eyes filling with tears. Roa cups her face. I won't make it out in time, but you can. Celine presses her forehead against his. Her ebony hair falls forward, forming a curtain that envelops them both. Roa closes his eyes, a smile lifting his lips as a scent, wild roses, washes over him. That grappling hook, you still have it? He asks. I'm also going to point out the uh, grammatical errors that should be lowercase, and also... 
that should be on a new line as a new speaker, but hey, semantics. Of course, why do you, with the last of his strength, Robert pushes... Oh my god! With the last of his strength, Robert pushes her from the balcony. He watches her fall, watches her pull the hook from her pack and expertly throw it, swinging gracefully to the ground. A mighty crack splits the floor beneath him as the tower crumbles. He smiles contentedly. Celine was safe. That's all that mattered. Epilogue. Selfish bastard. Celine says, kicking the base of the grave. Balsam places a comforting hand on her shoulder. He was the greatest of us all, Balsam says, a towering behemoth of a druid, although not as tall as Roa. We will forever honour him, for the single for he single-handedly broke Shah's hold on the land and helped. A different hand appears beneath the final entry. Roan, you had one job. This is not a historical record of what occurred. It is poorly written romance with no basis in fact. And if I ever see the name Balsam again, I will personally feed you to Orm. <laughs> Uh, so well, obviously that's supposed to be Halston. <laughs> oh man, we have to meet this Roan or Rowan or whatever his name is because he sounds like he's good fun. Anywho, let's go to this slab. Can we? He's jumped to reach. I can't even see a lock to pick. Oh, and this is what, okay, it, this is what it will unlock, but I don't have whatever it requires. So it can be an object I possess, which you combine to make the rune. Do I specifically need something that looks like that? That looks like a healing symbol. Oh, okay, no, not quite. Huh. Interesting. I'm curious now, where do I get this from? Is it something in here? Probably not. Is there a strike scroll on the ground? Oh, there is too. I thought you missed it. We should just stop procrastinating and go get holes in. Oh, I forgot it was on you. Apologies. Uh, hello? Can you click on the scroll? In Ketherick. I see my errors made manifest. He did not fall, he was pushed. His grief was twisted by shadow, but none could deny my hand gave that grief shape. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting. So, yeah, we need this to get through there, but I don't know what to do to get it. So, in any case, we shall depart, not knowing what to do there. So we need to find these gnomes. Gnomes? Goblins. Totally goblins. Is there anything here that warrants a look? To a notebook. This is an ancient notebook whose ink has faded and pages are starting to crumble. It's not easy, but some words can still be made out. How do you describe events like these? An accident? A tragedy? The cruelty of fate? It doesn't matter. Isabella's just as dead. I can't remember what happened with any clarity. We were negotiating. She with... I let the druids... Da, da, da. Words grew heated through the first punch. It was mayhem. Stared at me. My glaive's blade... Well, if I could get a glaive in this game, that'd be super for when we can get paladins. Buried in her stomach and shock in her eyes. I can't believe she wanted to hurt me. It was pure instinct. The heat of combat. Washed blood from my hands. My glaive was still there, coated in her blood. But something else felt different. There's a sickness in the blade. It seems cursed. But by whom? Saluna herself? It is locked away now. I do not trust its power in the wrong hands. What I never want to see it again. No. Don't go there. Don't say that. It'll be fine. I don't want to loot from you. Oral histories of Feyrun, the spell plague. I'm doing some reading. This book is comprised of several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand inscriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 25. Cornelius and Tomelius Worthywort. Halflings encountered on the Golden Road south of Inalith. Inalith? Inalith? I met the brothers. Or rather, they found me. In the lower pass through the Fire Shear Mountains. They had encountered a trail of golden discs along the path, and had resolved to gather and return them to whatever fool had more coin than common sense. 
It was to our mutual embarrassment, then, that I removed my cloak to reveal my patchwork yellow hide. It was molting season, I explained, and a traveller on the road had not the luxury to shed their scales in private, as would be proper. I suspect they knew too little of Dragonborn to be appropriately disgusted, and instead invited me to sup with them. Over a roadside fire, I learned of the purpose behind their journey. Cornelius, lure and my lad, our ancestral home. It was lost during the spell plague. Tamelius, weren't nothing lost, Con. It's not Nan's lucky Nashes, is it? It sank. Wasn't I there when the blue fire took it? Sure, what do you remember? You were knee-high to a gnome. I remember you crying. Maybe it was you that sank the place. Going back to finish the job? Watch that lip lest I fatten it. Only a fool speaks ill of his homeland. Their brows were bristling dangerously, and so I diverted hostilities by speaking of my own people's ancestral home. The blighted world of Eber, Eber, hmm, and the thousand-year tyranny of dragons we lived under, until the blue fire of a spell plague brought us to this world. Right. Uh, another potato? <laughs> Interesting. So the uh, Dragonborn weren't always part of this world. Sorry. It's not like I was looting. I just wanted to see what you had. Anything that can be used? No. Can I talk to the bird? The bird's eyes are glassy. It's brief. Oh, that's right. It was injured. I forgot about that. So where is this? This hastily written note. Fine, I won't read your notes. Oh, Jesus. She does not like me, and that's okay because I don't particularly like her. She did try to poison me after all, so I don't care if... I just want my oh, bed. shut up. I don't care if she doesn't like me. Alright, so. We need to go see... I want to see Zevla yet. I want to go see... Uh, e, uh, mm -hmm. I want to save... Oh god, I've forgotten his name already. Haslan? Save Arabella. Oh, the kid. Yeah, I gotta tell them the bad thing. I tried. Didn't work. That's right, we need to defeat the goblins. So I need to see Will for that. Yep. Halzen. That's the one. So I need to go see the adventurers. I don't know that I need to say Zelvor, per se. Good. Not another word, then. I was not even paying attention. Oh, uh, where's the bloody exit? We just came from there, which means the exit is this way. Evil lady! Could I at least take an Isabella back to her family? Isabella, Annabella, whatever the hell her name was. Annabelle. Two seconds later, I've completely forgotten already. Right. Let's go tell her parents they're going to wage war on the druids, but you know, what can I do? You're all so dead. She's going to kill you all. Who's the mother? You. Sorry, I tried. Unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Arabella, none of the above. Awesome. She was bitten by a stake. Stake! <laughs> she was bitten by a snake. It happened quickly. She felt no pain. This is none of my concern. Uh, Korka will release her soon, just hold on. Korka killed her daughter. She called her a parasite and a threat. While being honest, I don't think it will end well for anybody. Shit, I should have quick saved before this. Too late. She was bitten by a snake. Wait, what? What are you saying? Your daughter is dead. Arabella is gone. I'm sorry for your loss. Don't be ridiculous. What are you on about? It was an accident. I wish it weren't true. Believe me or don't, it won't bring your daughter back. Nothing. Bad joke. Abel is fine. Oof. No. You're not saying. You're wrong. You're wrong. Bells. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm very sorry. Why didn't we stop her? We should move on. I'm sorry. I tried. I honestly tried. Right. So. Do I really need to speak to Zevlo? Oh yeah, I actually need to tell him about the fact that we did not save uh, the uh, the tieflings from the being evicted. It's going to happen whether we like it or not. So let's get to his abode over here. Can't reach. Whatever. Hells take me. What I would do for best. Indeed. And then 
and he was in here. Sevlor, Hellrider Exile. I've already heard Arabella, nine summers old, and now she'll never see another. I tried. Because of druid law. Every natural law demands I take up my sword, storm their lair, and... But no. That's what Korga wants. Exactly. To prove we yep. are exactly what she says. Indeed. A threat. I won't give her the satisfaction. I'll get my people clear of this, but on our terms. Your people need to leave. I can help. Can you delay the ritual? You have to resist. No, you won't. I'm here to make sure you, make sure you leave. Yeah. Um. Can you delay the ritual? You people need to leave. I need it delayed enough for me to get to Halsen. You saw what they did to Arabella for trying. A child. Oh, she was Caucus trying to delay angels. it. I see. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see Okay, sense. so I have to get your holes in. Then why don't you get rid of her? You need to cut your lessons and run. I'll help. Ugh. Still haven't quick saved. Oh my god. I don't want to instigate something with Korga. But I won't get rid of her. I thought I might have dismissed. Don't worry. Before, we'll get Haslan back and I'll be fine. But the druids fine. would slaughter us. Yeah. Have to get close to no, Korga let's just do this peacefully. Distance. We'll go I get the druid. That, but they've already oh, let you pass <laughs> I mean, I'm totally happy to do it, but... Uh, what's it worth to, to you? To see Korga pay? Everything. You'll get your coin just as soon as I know if she's gone. If I get Haslam back and then kill her... Do I still get my coin? Because it seems I can do both of them. They don't look mutually exclusive. Ha ha. Okay. Enough of those intrigues. Let us be on our way. Just a thought for later. I want to happily slit her throat. So we need to go back to camp. I believe we don't really need a long rest, do we? Oh, she's down two spell slots, but it's only two spell slots, but to be fair, it is my main healing spell slots. Huh. Oh well, where are these adventurers? You. Was it Ramira? I think it was Ramira. Damn! Goblins! Tell me of them. Wait for her to finish a cleaning wound. You should probably get that looked at. Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. <laughs> oh, you guys are so much fun. I ain't letting anyone here near me. Oh, fair enough. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. I'd have done the same in your place. He let you in, didn't he? Could have been worse. You are to blame. I mean, yeah, but... Well, finally. Someone who ain't got horns where their good sense should be. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe. But not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight. But not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. I'm guessing that didn't end well? No. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. What about Haslan? Is anyone going to tell me about Haslan? Small mercies. Who was the other dude? Good to be back behind the walls. Could be worse. Oh, that's her again. Don't speak to her. Speak to this dude. Aridin, that's the one. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. I'm more concerned about the first druid. Heard he left the grove with you. I mean, I do want to answer the two, uh, number one, but I need to know more about Haslan, and sometimes it only ever gives me one choice, so I went straight to three. Aye. His name's Halsin. Oh, Halsin, whatever. Alive, he'll be cursed Close the day enough. he laid eyes on me. Hal We've got Hal a contract Halsin. to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes Ooh. lit up when he heard about it. Is it the it. tablet? <laughs> it didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. Interesting that the He's leader took up that trains are boiling in a cook pot by quest. Now. Can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got death wish. Well, apparently I do. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblins for a song. relic supposedly buried round these parts. Ten thousand. Ain't any use if you took all the spending. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Just tell me where to find the relic. Any idea where the relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here 
With half my well, you might be gone. if you just couldn't get but to look, it. If you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. So All where's he? It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like Okay, Brian. so Brian's body must be there then. Cool. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. So we need to find that. Press I to view. Stamped handbill. Read. A scuffed handbill stamped with an extravagant seal boldly proclaims. I hate how this turns into a book. Why can't this be a letter? Adventurers wanted for perilous and profitable quest. Master Loroarkan, the arcanist of Athkatla. Athkatla? The recluse of Ramazith's tower seeks brave. What's with the A A and R R? Good alliteration. Seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve treacherous temple and recover storied artifact, the Night Song for preservation of Baldur's Gate. Only sound of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. Well, that only gets me to the uh, temple. But Holson isn't at the temple. It's probably at their camp. Oh well, okay. Well, let us... Can we put that as like an active quest? No? Show a map. Find the night song. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Complete, complete. We never found the person here that we need to talk to. Drat it. I don't really... Wait, you said west. Somebody said west of here. The Dwarf Brian has a map. He was killed by goblins at the temple. It must be in the goblin camp. That's great, but where is this? Okay, let's figure out how to get out of this joint. Oh god, oh god. I think it's this way. I'm not entirely certain. That just points north, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. West. Wait, can I get west from in here? No. Right. I am stuck yet again. Let's try and go west this way. Although west is this way. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, can I get up top? I don't know that I can. I might have to continue this way. Okay, it looks like this is all their belongings. Ah, uh, shit, I need to get out. I need to actually leave the camp and then attempt to go west. Oh, there was somebody up there I could have spoken to. Oh well, done now. Oh, I wanted to go to camp, didn't I? And see if I could get... Uh, I think Will wants to save him. Okay. We're temporarily getting rid of you. Feel like we're being watched. Temporarily. Fast travel to camp. And then I can pick my how do I pick my party? I don't know how to... How do I create a party? Do I talk to Will to get it done? Salutations. Indeed. What should we do next? An unusual name, the Blade of Frontiers. Dealing with goblins, what's it? Okay, let's go through the whole thing. What do we do next? We sniff out the gobo leaders and take their heads. And we free the druid housing while we're at it. If we want these brain bugs removed, he's our man. We're failing that, this... Gith crash sounds promising. If Lazel's telling us straight, which we don't know. I know, I know. We's, That's a pretty yeah, big Yeah, I mean, gift. she's as keen to get that shit out of her head as I am. And you shall name the Blade of Frontiers. Living legend in the flesh, slayer of spectres, killer of kobolds, the pride of Baldur's Gate. Okay, I've uh, never heard of you. Uh, yes, I know of your exploits. So you know the stories, all true, I might add. Won't be long before they're telling new tales. Mind flayers, 
flying ships, dragon attacks. <sighs> the legend grows. Mm-hmm. What's your plan with There's the goblins? Saying I just made up. To fell a dragon, so you, you need to just chop cut off its head. The leader's head. These goblins are organized. There's no hamhead pulling the strings. Their hideout can't be far. We slither in and off their leaders. Quick as crickets. Sounds simple as enough. You seem eager to help the tieflings. Did you see those tiefling kids back at the grove? I did. They should be chasing frogs, climbing trees, not training for battles they can't win. Agreed. Those people look at me and they see a hero. Imagine how bad they feel if they were wrong. Oh God, your eye is unusual. What happened? Um, this sounds like now, terrible. Now, now, I always save the best stories for my closest friends and my cruelest enemies. <laughs> get to be one of those and I'll spill the whole jug. <laughs> Preferably the former, mm. not the latter. You get that, right? Spill the whole jug? <laughs> huh. I guess I'll toss that one in the heap. Please do. I'm all ears. Uh, we could turn any moment. How are you in such good spirits? I reckon I could mutter and mope about till the brain bug takes me. But the truth is, I feel fine. <sighs> Better than fine. And I've no plans to stop fighting the good fight. Cool. Make some room and I'm all yours. Okay. Well, some yours. Huh. <laughs> So I have to talk to Starion and kick him out of the group. God, that sounds like such a dick move, doing it directly. Where is he? There he is. I'm sorry. What do you need now? I'll bring you back in two seconds. Oh, darling. I'm I know! Hurt. I thought we had something I'm special. sorry! I'll get you back in two seconds. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. I mean, isn't that the way it you'd prefer it? <laughs> it sounds exactly like what you want. Okay, I'll take you and then I'm putting you back where I found Hold you it. as soon as I can. Ah, that's the spirit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Where's Lazel? The skeleton's here. Bruh. Gotta talk to him. Just gotta level you up first. Um, okay, so let's figure out how to use you. Oh man, you're only on 17 HP and I'm putting you in the front line? You're fucked. Uh, Eldritch, Eldritch Invocations. Agonizing Blast. When you cast Eldritch Blast and your Chris... Yes, your Chris... Oh, that's right. It's, it's a Chris... Uh, based class. Unless it is negative. Yep, okay. Eldritch Blast it is. Armor of Shadows. You can cast Mage Armor on yourself. Doesn't Mage Armor require you not to be wearing any armor? Be speech. You invoke your patron's bewitching charm. Who is he with? He's with the fiend. You gain proficiency in deception and persuasion. Normalcy in darkness. You can cast false life on yourself at will. Without expending a spell slot. <gasps> do I want to do more damage or do I want to save him and make him have extra HP? Because holy shit, he's squishy. Oh, I can choose two. Or might have to put fiendish vigor on. You can disguise yourself. Nope. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push. Nope. Five, oh, five fates. Once per long rest, you can cast Bane. No. I want to take fiendish vigor. Yes. That sounds good. And Hex. Curse a creature to deal an additional 1d6. Necrotic whenever you hit it with an attack. The creature also has this advantage on ability checks. So this is a bonus action. Oh, plus a spell slot. Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn. Oh, hold up. I could get something else instead. Witch Bolt, which is really cool, I might point out. Though we haven't used it effectively with Gale just yet. Hellish Rebuke? Surround your attacker in hellish flames that deal 2d10 fire. That seems quite useful, I'm not going to lie. How many spell slots do I even have? I don't even know. I know that hex is typically what you're supposed to do as a wall block, but I kind of like the idea of hellish rebuke. But I know I'm going to take damage. Boom. Retreat, command, charm person. I want to take hellish rebuke. Placement spell. Armor of Agathis. 
A special frost covers you. Gain five temporary hit points and deal five cold damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. Hmm. Could you have armor of Agathus at the same time as Hellish Rebuke? Seems kind of silly to do both. And arms of Hadar. Kuvos tendrils of dark energy. Te targets take... Oh, I can only not do two spells any given moment. Oof. Targets take 2d6 necrotic and can't take reactions. I will take out Armor of Agathus and put in my Hellish Rebuke. Wet. Oh, I just... Oh, because I put it there. Never mind, never mind, never mind. No. In that case, you can, you can definitely keep what you're doing. I don't feel the need to do that. That is fine. Except... That's it? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's because it was only first level. Oh, we're doing one at a time. Okay, this makes far more sense now. Gotcha. And Pact of the Chain. Gain the service of a familiar. Another one? A face spirit that takes the form of you choose. This can be an animal, imp, or quasit. Whatever that is. Spells. Misty Step. As a level 2 spell. What are my other options? Mirror Image. Invisibility. Whole Person. Darkness and Blindness. Raven Feeblement, Scorching Ray, yeah, I mean, maybe we can save it for some economy, sure. Alright, so, which one is it? Yeah, so I don't need to be in melee. Yeah, I hear you, buddy, alright, I hear you. Find Familiar, False Life. Was it False Life God? Now I can't remember what I said it was. Blade Ward. It was False Life I was thinking of, isn't it? Um... I don't remember. It doesn't look like it is because that's going to cost you a first level spell slot. Oh no it's not. How'd that go for you sir? This is taking a very long time. Ah, uh, that failed. Received condition false life, yet he doesn't have any extra HP. What? Increased by nothing for the room duration. Remains until fully rested. Interesting. Maybe it's just because it's here. And what about your familiar? What can you get? An imp. Summon a familiar with the form and statistics of an imp. Its barbed tail can inject enemies with a potent poison. Ooh, I like that. Quasit. Summon a familiar with the form and statistics of a that frightens enemies. I mean, that sounds cool, but let's go with an imp. Because it can fly. It's not very... Uh, subtle. At least my raven blends. Okay, let's go talk to old mate. He said we'd meet again. We meet again. As predicted. Well, I mean, you came to my camp. I shall be here in thy camp. For whenever thou hast need of my services. So what do you do exactly? What kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. You can raise people? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. For how much? What do you want once more. in return? That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Impressive and probably expensive. What's this cost? A matter of coin. 200 gold. Okay. What if I don't have that kind of gold right now? Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Oh, so I can go and acquire the funds? Okay, I won't say that's outrageous because that's quite acceptable. It's actually quite cheap. Sure, sir. Did it say attack? Why the hell would I want to attack a map big bucket? Lol. Okay, nothing else magically popped up here. Look at the ruins. 
I wonder if I get to build this place up nicely at some point. Probably not, that wouldn't really make too much sense. Uh, can we have any extra chats, Shadowheart? Probably not. What? She's just so sociable. What do you think of all that's happened to us so We've far? We've been through quite a lot, with not likely really. more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? <laughs> uh, you must have some thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Okay, how do you think we should proceed? Well, she's quite clear on that. How am I holding up in your estimations? If nothing else, you can at least soak up any arrows that are loose at us. <laughs> That's my value to you? A, uh, is a shield? A meat shield? What do you think of the druid grove? And what's there to think about? Just a group of desperate people at each other's throats. Hardly a unique occurrence these days. Besides, the one person who might be able to help us isn't even in the grove. We should look for Halsin, not waste time poking about his abode. Okay. Uh, we should get to know each other a little more. She's not going to like that. So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. Indeed. You do seem like the type, I must say. It was just a thought, and I need to take offence. The type? What do you mean? Yes, I'm the type to pry. Are you the type to answer? My, look at you. Straight as an arrow and right to the point every time. Well, I mean, you are, so why can't this I be thus? This is tadpole I'm speaking to, is it? The personality seems a little lacking. Oof. You got me. I am the mighty tadpole. His body is my <laughs> soul. Mock all you like. It's clearly just a front. That's all you're entitled to for now. Our parasite problem doesn't make you my confidant. It's going to take a, a lot for her to warm up to us, that's for sure. I know she's down two spell slots, but too bad. We are leaving. Once I figure out how to leave. Teleport, teleport, teleport. To... Oh god. Overgrown ruins? The grove? Roadside cliffs? Jesus, I don't know. Um... I don't necessarily want to go back to the grove, because then I'm going to get back out. Actually, it's right next to the grove, isn't it? Yes. 